Hey, y'all. Grab your Bibles. Let's go through the Word. Mark. We're still in the book of Mark. Uh, We're going to pick up where we left off last time. Here in verse 29 of chapter 1, it says, As soon as they left the synagogue, they went with James and John to the home of Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they immediately told Jesus about her. So he went to her, took her hand, and helped her up. The fever left her, and she began to wait on them. That evening after the sunset, the people brought to Jesus all the sick and demon-possessed. The whole town gathered at the door, and Jesus healed many who had various diseases. He also drove out many demons, but he would not let the demons speak because they knew who he was. See a lot. There's so much packed into this passage. First of all, I just want to point out and kind of um, underscore what Adam talked to us about last time, um, and, and that is the authority that Jesus has. Who in creation has authority to to speak and heal? That's a special kind of authority to speak into someone's life and bring healing. And, and as I reflect on the reality of speaking into lives and bringing healing. Uh, guys, that's what ministry is all about. And forgive me if I point out, ministry is not just something that, that people that are on staff at churches do. Ministry is what all of us are called to do. We are all called to be ministers of the gospel, ministers of the word of Jesus. And we have this beautiful picture of uh, the ministry of reconciliation and healing that happens in this place because Jesus' presence is there. And when he is there, people are healed. I I once heard a a teacher talk about uh, or or paint a picture that I want to share with you guys too. Imagine being there um, long into the night, Jesus was healing people. So imagine being there at the very early hours of the morning when the next day is beginning and looking out at that street, a street that is littered, littered with bandages and crutches, littered with all of the remnant of everything that was uh, the the stories of the broken bodies and uh, as such the broken spirits of people that desperately needed a savior. You can see the picture. You can see the image of the healing that Jesus brought. And we're talking about more than just mending cuts. We're talking about ending life, altering life, crippling life, destroying uh, illness. The illness of, of the body, illness of the heart, illness of the mind, and illness of the soul. And Jesus brought healing to all of that. And that same Jesus brings healing to his people. That same Jesus heals our hearts and our minds and our souls. That same Jesus, because of his ministry, because of his sacrifice, because of his purpose and person and design, he wants to bring healing and wholeness to you too. Uh, Again, I've said it before. If you want to know more about what that is, please contact our church. Uh, You can chat with Brad or Adam or me or anybody. Uh, Give us a call if you need to. But know that Jesus wants to make you whole and Jesus wants to make you new and Jesus wants the remnants of that old, broken, and decayed life to be littered in the street and be gone and away and nowhere near you anymore. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for healing. Thank you for knowing. Thank you for loving. And thank you for Jesus. Please help us to be Jesus in someone's life today. Please help us to bring healing and reconciliation to the lives of those that we know and love. Help us make a difference in our world. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. See y'all later.